Hello everyone, Likos here and welcome to my first episode of Peña Blanca. It's actually the third episode, but for me it's the first because it's a collaboration series. Um, as you can hear, I am all alone on this episode, sadly. Both Yersus and um, Alyssa couldn't make it for this episode, so I'm just doing it all on my own. But we have plenty to talk about because I am working on the first building inside of the zoo itself in this episode, which will be the restaurant slash cafe kinda thing. I think it's more of a cafe. It's a place for people to sit and hang around at the very start of the zoo. When I got Alyssa's file, the first thing I noticed was that she had a really cool sideline with the book exhibit when you walk into the zoo, and I just imagined it would look good with the cafe next to it. So that's what I did. Um, this was a day after the Ostra set came out, I think. So it's quite a long time ago, but we really tried to get a date for all three of us together on this video, but we couldn't get it, so now I'm just doing it on my own. Hopefully we'll be able to join each other's episodes sometime in the future. But in this episode, I am only building the restaurant, sadly. <laughs> I'm not building anything else. I am tweaking the terrain a little bit and some of the foliage, so that takes up a chunk of time as well. As you can see here, I'm uh, tweaking the entrance a little bit, changing the scenery posts for the building posts because there's, uh, they are slightly longer, so you actually have a logically looking post at the end of all of the walls. And I added some details with the elevated path, borders and stuff, but the main focus is of course the cafe. Um, in the cafe I made windows using the posts which was uh, partially also because they have actually glass in them, so you actually see your windows. <laughs> Mostly I make windows by um, using the window scenery objects, which I have made, which look hideous, but they do their purpose. But through these windows you can actually look into the cafe, which is cool, so you can actually see what's going around inside, which was important because I actually made an inside for once, which is something I <laughs> rarely even do. But I think it worked out pretty nice. I think it looks cool. The entire cafe has a nice little atmosphere, which adds a lot, in my opinion. Because I think Peña Blanca could use some cool uh, atmospheric. Atmospheric? Atmosphere. I don't know. A cool mood, a cool tone. I think it really leans itself with that. Because it's in a really cool setting. And yeah, I just. I like Peña Blanca so far. <laughs> the things uh, Koda and Alyssa have built are really cool, and since all three of us can edit everything, I think we'll make something really special in the coming weeks, months, years, who knows. Hopefully we can uh, get a next one out relatively soon. And the next one will be by Koda again. Yes, by Koda. And, uh, We'll look forward to seeing what Koda will come up with. He'll probably just make another exhibit. He should, because we don't need another building to start here. But, yeah. I was really in the mood of making a building and didn't want to make an exhibit, so... It's up to them. What I did do was uh, tweak the terrain a little bit, as you can see right here, and as I've said before. I raised the ditches a little bit, just to make it a bit more natural. And I added some stairs, because I love stairs, and they add a lot. Because that's also something I want to try in Peña Blanca a little bit. Because we're building an actual zoo and a map, so you can really play with the layout. So we are making stairs and stuff to make it more dynamic and interesting. Because having one big flat zoo is boring. And especially because we are uh, over in Peña Blanca. In South America we are able to make a more hilly terrain-ish zoo because if you do a zoo in the Netherlands it is not logical to have lots of stairs because the country is as flat as uh, I don't even know as what. Well. It's just really flat. But Peña Blanca won't be. In right here I started fiddling around with the foliage which was uh, eh, kind of hard because it's hard to make good looking tropical foliage. But we kind of pulled it off. I 
actually just used everything Alyssa and Goat have used, but oh well. <laughs> I made things a bit more lush and changed the ground textures a little bit to make it more Mexican, I don't know. I just had this in mind and I think it looks good. And if Coda or Alyssa don't think it looks good, then they can just change it and it will be fine. I tried to not fiddle around too much with Alyssa's exhibit because I did like it. It's on a slight slope, so that is cool. Because then you can actually see the entire exhibit and that is a neat little thing to have as the very first exhibit in the park because people will walk through the gates and instantly see the Bukharis. Which is nice. Gets you right into the zoo feel. Um, something I tried doing with the Bakari exhibit, however, was uh, working with the sidelines a little bit. Because I mostly just added background photos to the thing. But I wanted to ha to make a pretty picture. Because I want the, the sideline from coming through the entrance, which you see me going through a lot. I want that to be a really cool sideline. And I want that sideline to be perfect and not empty or boring at any place, so... You'll see me trying to do that with some trees in the background and raising some of them. Just to make it a bit more dynamic and natural. Which I like. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, like the cafe and the other change I did in this episode. And I hope you like Peña Blanca in general. <laughs> Go check out Coda's and Alyssa's channels as well, they're really cool. And um, I'll see you next time on Coda's channel. Goodbye.